Hey yo guys! This is Neldrin and today I'll share to you the things I wish I knew when I started as a lane. But before that, comment down below when did you started playing this game. I started playing around February. Crescendo of Polaris was the event that time. I was happy getting my Sheffield. She is one of my strongest vanguard back then, together with Belfast and Portland. Now, going back to the guide, keep in mind that the following are my opinions and nothing are set on stone. If you disagree with something, please do comment down below on why. Also watch until the end. I will guarantee you the last tip is not something you will usually see on other guides. I will also be giving a bonus tip in the middle so don't you skip the video, you might not find it. First off, I would like to discuss about the early game gears. As most of the other guides already discussed. Do not open pink and blue boxes. You can upgrade them one tier higher. That is combining five boxes into one. White gears and most of the blue gears are really worthless as the game progresses. So instead of wasting the boxes and opening low quality gears, upgrade them for a chance of decent purple gears. Speaking of low quality thrashy gears, including some purple rarity gears, do not enhance them. It will be a waste of plates, especially the main gun and general parts which will be needed the most. Always, always consult the gear tier list which I will link below, to know which gear is the most useful. Next that I wish I knew is that the retrofit blueprint that you can collect in hard mode stages and sometimes that you can get from commission, you can upgrade the T1 into T2 blueprint. Yes. Just in case that you are short some T2 destroyer blueprints for retrofitting or on your PR ship, no need to wait another day for hard mode and pray for RNG to give you the needed purple print. You can combine 6 tier 1 blueprints into 1 tier 2 blueprint. Third in line is to retrofit if possible. Unlike limit breaking the ships, retrofitting will increase some stats into your ship without the additional oil cost. There might be some level requirement as deeper you go to the retrofit tree, but it is okay since you are strengthening your ship. Once you are able to modernize the ship, its rarity will be one above higher and will be more powerful. For me, you should invest in retrofitting these ships since they are strong. Portland is your early game tank aside from Prinzo again. She is strong even without Indy in your fleet. Leander is also one of the best early game ship. Her buff do give a lot of value in the fleet. I mean, it is a firepower buff to your cruisers. The starters are also good to retrofit and top tier destroyers once you obtain their retrofit skills. Hiryu is also one of the best to retrofit if you want to annoy people in PvP. Her blue skill, Final Counter, will make her invincible before dying for a short time and will still deal damage. Speaking of retrofits, do not forget to save duplicate copies of these ships since you will be using a lot of them to upgrade. If you have tons of purple bullens, you can ignore this tip. Fourth thing I wish I knew is not to save too much oil when sorting. It might be a bit controversial since most of the guides that you already heard will say to save your oil when farming. For example, use the zombie fleet namely Cassin and Downs or Phoenix. And use Erebus or Terror as your main fleet. For me, it is a waste of experience points if you keep using 0 LB ships just to conserve oil. I've been playing for 6 months now and I never used these ships to farm. If you want to conserve some oil, just cut your fleet. Just use one or two strong ships with a healer ship if you think they are not tanky enough. As you can see, I have a problem for having too much oil now. I wish I could donate some to you guys. The fifth thing I wish I knew is to farm event currency. As a lane usually alternating major event and minor event. During these major events, Farm the currency as many as you can and buy the important things first. Event exclusive ship and equipment. 
purple plates especially main gun and general parts. You can deprioritize the others unless you needed it. Also, PR blueprints. At early levels you can prioritize the gold rarity since you will not be using the rainbow for a while. But when you can afford, go and buy it. It is one of the rarest items you can obtain. Sixth thing I wish I knew, is to not lock common ships. These ships are not really great, and they consume some of your dock space. Well you might say, just spend on dock expansion you knew. Well I disagree. I would rather spend my gems on dorm expansion since it will help me in the long run. 200 dock space is enough I think if you really want to expand, but at first, you don't need to collect many ships, just get the important ones. And lastly, did you know that you can use your mail as an inventory? Yes, you can stock up the oils and coins that the game is giving you once every maintenance. It is useful when you are grinding event maps with great gears. I remember grinding for the French gun during the Skybound Oratorio event. I almost run out dry, thanks to this tip that I have spare oils to use. And here's the bonus that I promised. Did you know that Akashi likes to get head pat? Yes, do it. Sometimes she will give you some loots like oils, coins and bullens. But do note that don't do it too much, she's not that desperate for head pats you know. I hope that this guide gave you helpful ideas in your journey in Azalane. Thank you for watching and if you want more guides like this, just hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Also don't forget to like this video. It's a small thing but it really means a lot to me, so don't be shy hit it. See you in my next guide.